Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm surrounded by pink fart bubbles here on the uh, FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. And I'm, I'm here on the, the tree grow island because it works really well. And not just trees, I um, replaced this with some water, um, dug that out and replaced the dirt and then tilled it and planted some hemp because I wanted a bunch of hemp and then I used my a watering can to sit there and grow it and then I just stood here and just kept punching and I got like a thousand hemp in a very short amount of time it was very handy and then replaced everything so it looks good uh, so that works out very very nicely now in the the last video I showed off the the runic altar here set up and and I was talking about the the mechanical user here where it's set to redstone on to activate the final ritual and get it completed and how I, I wish that I could have something where I could have it work just when I needed it. I have to come here and actually turn it on because I, I don't want to have things just always running if I can avoid it. And I got so, several great suggestions. And let me go ahead and do a little breaking here. Oh, is that all going in here? Oh, that's where it's going. <laughs> I should have broken that first. Uh, the, the thing that I w was suggested is, let's snag all these bits. Ah, it, 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 there, ah, whatever. Um, the the suggestion was to put the mecha mechanical user up here. Uh, let's take this runic altar, uh, not, not runic altar, the... Um, that's the refined court crafter. It says runic altar because I named it. I was having a hard time remembering. Okay, so put that pointing up and now we'll take the... Uh, the mechanical user, and if I click just right there, oh, no, uh, let's grab, no, I don't want to wave, I want to grab my wrench, let's, I think that also works, can, nope, I'm, sh nope, that's not going to work as a wrench, uh, but this should work as a wrench, there, all right, so pointing into the, the runic altar, and if we, edit this it needs to be activate block with item uh, I believe is is the case here let's um, yep <laughs> it got put right onto the altar so perfect not what I wanted uh, anyway so uh, this is pointing up uh, let's grab these little bits here and um, the the comment that made all this work is this outputs a redstone signal when there's a completed recipe on it and i went oh that means that i could run a comparator off of the runic altar and it will then i can pass that redstone signal to the mechanical user and that would work the problem is there's not much room here and one of the suggestions was to use the project red uh, comparator because it sticks to walls and so i said oh well let's make one of those and the, the they're they're really easy to make they're just these circuit place some redstone you know that uses a redstone torch anyway uh break this one so if i put this let's break those um i have no idea why this vivid grass is under that viv unless yeah i don't know why uh let's put is that no that that can't be the the right way where'd you go okay let's grab a button All right, let's put you, let's come over here where it's a flat, bigger space. All right, <clears throat> put down the comparator and so that doesn't work there. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so I need this uh, redstone torch piece to be pointing away from the, the runic altar. All right, let's do that. Can I, nope, it's the same wrong direction. Same wrong direction, can I rotate you? Nope, 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 it's not doing it. All right, come on, work the way I want you to. What if I point you that way? 
There we go, cool. So now when this is full, it should output a signal out. And so now I need some conduit. Uh, I've got some of this redstone conduit. And we'll go bump, bump, and dunk. So this will go into here and we'll use the redstone signal. And hey, I've got the, the wrench on me, perfect. Uh, this, I'm clicking you, there we go. I want this to input a signal um, of red from here and that should feed in and that should activate that altar. All right, uh, that should work. I need to get this back in place, my vacuum chest. I need this to go here, whoop. Because I need to come from underneath. There we go. Uh, where'd my... What happened to the stone? Oh, did that get sucked up already? Yeah, it did. All right, so let's put the stone there. And then I need some cables. I've got one cable, cable. I need a cable there and there. Yep, that connects everything that's in place. Uh, air, earth, fire, water, and spring, summer, autumn, winter. All right, so, you know, not that it matters what the order is, but I kind of like it in that order. Let's close that up there, and let's get rid of all these junky bits. So, rune. I only have one of the rune of spring, so let's go ahead and make a rune of spring. I've got everything available. Start. Spit, spit, spit. Okay, that's spitting the stuff on there like it's supposed to. And I could just barely see, and it did it. Okay, perfect, perfect. So that will completely automate um, doing the route. So yay, that's exactly what I wanted to get done. Anything else I need to clear up here? Nope, I'll put my, my uh, ring back on. Alrighty, so that's working great, uh, but that's not exactly what I wanted to do today. I want to do stuff over at the industrial area. So let's go to the pagoda, wait for things to load, <laughs> over here to industry, Grok Tech. Yeah, it, it would have been really nice if the, the manufacturer had sent me the, the sign I ordered for the first episode of Grok Tech here, but no, it finally got it came in place. Yeah, see, those have been working fine. We got the lights. Uh, stuff up here. Uh, some feedback. Several people mentioned uh, using platform, and I think uh, Linda was was the one that was first saying the platform mod is an excellent one for industrial areas. And I have to agree, it does look really nice, and uh, it also gives kind of a transparent view uh, looking up. So I went ahead and made the platformer which is a pretty easy to make platformer and uh, just pretty, pretty darn cheap. And then you come in here and you pick what item you want. In this case, I wanted this uh, wooden floor. I, I tried these, yeah, these uh, platforms, but they actually appear at the bottom of the block and I wanted the full block. So I, I went with this. And then uh, you, you tell it what you want as far as color. I was tempted to do this with teak on the top and just oak on the bottom. And I went, eh, no. Uh, you just place in however many blocks you want and you get four of these out. And as you can see, I've got uh, some of these left. Let's come up here. Uh, they're very fiddly in placing, but if you make... What happened to my wrench? Oh, there it is. There's my monkey wrench. It, if you make this monkey wrench, again, pretty cheap to, to make, and you hold it in your offhand, now you've got a, a visual of what's going where. You can see how it's going in different locations. And then if you get yourself positioned just right, you can just go along and place it. Ah! But you can then, um, let's put that one in place switch to an empty hand and here you can rotate these unfortunately once you get in some of these setups they don't seem to rotate and look good so I will break these and replace them but anyway got those in place put them put them and so now I have uh, these these platform floors everywhere except for the bottom because I kind of like it it's industrial it gives you a little space spotlight down into what's going on down below um, and so we're going with that anyway uh, the power is coming up through here I'll get to that in a sec 
I want to get rid of, no, this, there, there we go. Get that off my power bar. So the power from the, the, the water wheels running up through here and going into this uh, capacitor tower that I've got here. And I decided to go with uh, the passive power up here. So these are the thermoelectric generators that I already had. And uh, I went ahead and made some gelid cryothium and some blazing pyroth pyrothium. Pyrothium, yeah, blazing pyrothium and, and gelid cryothium. Because uh, as, as far as I can tell, that's the biggest uh, temperature difference between the two. Uh, and so that generates the, the most power per side, which, you know, I, it, it's not screamingly needed, but I'm, I'm going with that anyway. And let's put gelid there and that there. And then because safety third, there we go. No run, walking on top and, and falling in and, and burning up because that's hot. Let's go ahead and grab these things, slap those on here. And then you go to the connector or the relay and you go to the relay. And so now these are generating power. I think it's like 31 RF per tick on each side. So there's two of those. So that's 62. That's not bad. And I had this over here because i was going is fire tick on or off on the server and i wasn't sure so i i went ahead and and uh, lit these logs and planks on fire and it's been like two three days <laughs> and me afk around here so i i was looking at that and going yeah fire tick is off <laughs> because all wood <laughs> i don't want that blazing fire there causing problems but that's pretty i didn't realize that uh, they glowed as much as they do this i expected but i didn't realize that would also glow so that lights up things so now we got more power coming through here and then over here we're gonna do something like i did with the, the clock tower which you can see on the other side but it's purely decoration i'm gonna make these windmill blades and they go like this grab that iron Doink. Now I've got a windmill and let's go ahead and slap that against doink and that works nicely except it's not as fast as it could be and that's why I was growing the hemp because each one of these required a you know eight hemp uh, industrial hemp fibers around a stick to make one of these tough fabrics and you need six of them to make a windmill sail and you need eight of those to upgrade this fully. So let's just, uh, uh, can I just click the center? Yep, I can click the center. There, definitely. You can see how that's uh, speeding up a lot more. So that's good. And let's grab that uh, power cord here. There to there. There, now we've got three passive power generation setups. Uh, windmill, the, uh, the electro, uh, thermoelectric uh, um, generators. Thermoelectric, yeah. The, and then uh, the, the the water wheels. Anyway, so that works out very, very nicely. Oh, I also put torches on top of these towers just because, you know, they're, they're a hazard for people, you know, low-flying aircrafts and, and stuff like that. All right, so that's in place, which makes me feel good. And you can see I've got a power relay going on down through here. Let's say, howdy, Jetty. Howdy, Jetty. And... Uh, I, I set it up in such a way that they are just one block below the floors. And that way I can pull power out and run them around to each of the floors. So that's how I'm going to get power relayed through the building. That's my, my plan and I'm sticking with it. Uh, I took my workbench and moved it over here. And uh, I went ahead and made this one, the, the, the mold for press plate molds. Uh, the other one I've got here, uh, this one, oh yeah, this does the iron mechanical component, steel mechanical component, and the vacuum tubes. I did that for the uh, the lamps, uh, lanterns over there. Anyway, this, uh, it's immersive engineering. It comes over here. And that right there makes me think there's power that goes in, but works without it. Anyway, uh, the, oh, book. I went ahead and grabbed this book. Let's get rid of all these things I don't need. I went ahead and, and grabbed this book and you can see Crusher. Uh, this is the engineer's manual for immersive engineering. And 
big time kudos to any mod author who puts the information about the mod into the game. It you know, it, it it's slightly cheesy and annoying to me when people have a wiki that's outside of the game that I have to consult. But at least that's better than the people who have no information whatsoever about their mod. You just have to trial and error it, and I don't like that at all. But I want to go ahead and make a simple machine. Uh, conveyor belts. I love conveyor belts. They're very fun. Uh, I want to get a... Um, I made a garden cloche. Um, they're high tick on a server. So when I, I had the one over by my clock tower, it was getting me ender pearls because the end wasn't open at that time. And I just had the one and I set it up in a non-loaded chunk. So the only time it would be loaded and causing tick on the server was that when I was here at my base or somebody was here at my base. Uh, anyway, so uh, oh, let's go back to, no, let's, no, no. I'm supposed to, <sighs> fine. I got a blood magic book. It's supposed to be able to, to crouch click and get out of whatever the 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 book is all right so open this up i want engineer's manual if it's a dirt i don't care i can make all the manuals i want anyway uh garden close no 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 i'm looking for heavy machines i guess metal press is the the first machine i'm wanting to make because uh this guy makes uh making the plates and the 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 wires for various things much much easier and i'm i'm definitely wanting to to do that so needs all these things blah 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 kick it with a hammer on the piston this i really like it tells me what i need to have made because the first little while i was looking at this and i was playing with this in creative and this stop uh, this one I thought was the light. No, it's the heavy, heavy engineering block. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let me stick that there. Let's come over here. Uh, I've got some steel. I've been making it to using thermal foundation and, and that's okay. Let's go ahead and make six of those. And then these are redstone engineering blocks. I only need one, but that's okay. I'm going to make two batches of conveyor belts because they're fun. Uh, likewise, uh, I could sit there and compress these down, uh, using my, um, compressor and then these little bits here that goes into my heavy engineering block and then i need these bits all right so if i have done everything right that goes there that goes there the redstone block goes there uh, the heavy block goes on top of there and then this piston goes there but it's oriented wrong can I correct? Oh, you don't? Fine. Because this is immersive engineering, it should. I should be able to use you, but it doesn't. So let's use another wrench. I rotated you with this earlier. There we go. There we go. All right. I knew I had rotated it with one of these wrenches. My, my row of wrenches here. All right, all those go away. And now I need a conveyor belts. And I love that it gives you the little arrow to letting you know which direction it's going. And that there. Now that's all I need to make this. So actually I should grab back my hammer because I need to hit it on the piston. And now I've got a press here, which is very nice. But I'm going to go ahead and put a... A conveyor belt there and then I'm going to combine this with do I need a, on top yeah uh, this is the dropping conveyor belt with the iron trap door uh, so now I can put that here so anything that gets dropped onto this is the part where you actually convey so anything that drops oh it won't do those what about other blocks? Will you do other blocks? Huh. Maybe it's it's not working because that's a specific um, setup. Anyway, uh, this, if I put stuff in, I want it to automatically run through, get processed, and then get stored. But this needs a plate to be pressed on. And for that, 
I need uh, I need some shears and I need some steel steel some of these steel plates let's grab a bunch of them if we come over to here and we put those in here like that I should be able to uh, engineers wire cutter I actually need wire cutters let's make wire cutters plate immersive engineering plate uh, these needs these yep it definitely does need the uh, engineers wire cutters that's just sticks and iron all right make me some wire cutters done I was thinking shears would work because that works for the other stuff all right, now that opens up all the options here. I'm going to go ahead and make a metal plate. What happened to the rest of these? Oh, I think it just randomly grabbed five. And I also want to get a wire plate. Okay. Well, eh, we can just leave that in there for now. So now I can take the wire plate and let's get some copper. Let's get like half a stack of copper. So if I right click this with my plate, all right, can I shift click? Yes. Okay. So I can move those things in and out and I'm going to take the other plate and uh, stick that there on the wall. So now I should be able to dump this in here. Oh, magnet. Oh, that's a problem. There is no power to this. Give me that. I'm going to take my magnet off. I'm going to have to put some, uh, stuff around here to stop me from grabbing things if I forget to take out my magnet LV oh do I not have any LV plugs all right LV I need these set of those all right so this receives power here on the top and uh, let's make two of them because I need that LV I need one of these, a relay. All right, so this is right in the middle of the, the floor. I'll put that there. So we'll put power from here to there. All right, and then I need a connector here. So power from here to here, and that should start powering it up. Oh, then it's starting to move, squish, and there's my wire, and it goes along and falls in. Perfect, and now I have two. Oh, cool, that does two at a time instead of the, the one I've been getting before. That just spits it all out and it's one by one going through. Cool, I've got an automated machine. You know, very manually automated, but it's it's a machine. And that'll just make me uh, the, the wires. And so no longer have to use my shears for that, which is good. All right, let's uh, dump the stuff off. Uh, I don't need these for right now or that. Uh, let's get rid of all these things. Okay, now the other big thing I wanted to make, and you saw that, I wanted to make the crusher. And it's this big monstrosity. But fortunately, it has information of what we need. So I need some steel scaffolding, redstone engineering blocks, some light engineering blocks, steel fence, and hoppers. All right, well, hoppers. I've got my nine hoppers that I need. Uh, steel, lots of steel. I need more scaffolding. I need some steel fence. Uh, one, two, three. I need nine steel fences. How many scaffolding? Ten steel scaffolding. All right, so let's make some more scaffolding. That goes there and there, and that goes away, and that goes away. All right, 10, oh, there you go. There's my 10 scaffolding, perfect. And then I need some light engineering blocks. Light engineering blocks, I needed 10 of these. Oh, so I need to do this five times. So I need 10 of these mechanical components, which I have made a bunch of the, uh, the flattened iron earlier. So there's 10, I think that is all I need. Two, three, four, five, six, 10. And then I needed the redstone engineering block. I think that's it. There's five different things here. 
This has five different things. Steel scaffolding, yes. Redstone engineering block, yes. Are those green checks because I've got them on me? Here, let's uh, take the hoppers and we'll just stick them here on the floor. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so it tells me there's no green check mark for the hopper, so I don't have the hopper, but I've got everything else, so gimme. And I want some power, so let's get uh, LV. I need uh, two wires. I need one of you and one of you, because I want to set it up over on this side, and it's a bigger contraption. So here's the thing. You look at this and you say, what are the things that need to go where but I'm gonna cheat well I'm not gonna cheat I'm just going to use schematica to make this a lot easier to figure out where things need to go where uh, now that's the front on this side so let's rotate it one that's yes that is the redstone okay so you can see it's a five wide so let's go ahead and move it that direction so i think that's centered on the window yep and let's move it back one more you know i think it would be kind of nice to be able to get back here in case i need to do something so let's let's park it right there so let's go ahead and do one layer and here's where i need all my bits so i need you and you and you and you and you and then my scaffolding one two three four five okay there's all ten of the scaffolding so that's done and go up a level and here's where the redstone goes there and then i've got five more of these blocks and that goes in the center and the boom 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 and this is where the ring of fences goes Isn't that nice showing you what needs to be done? Now, the, the rest of this I know is just hoppers on top over the that, that three by three of fences. And so if we show the whole thing, there are no, hey, you got something done wrong here looks on there. So that's perfect. Let's grab my fence here. I'll, I will unload this because I don't need it anymore. And I think this is the block I hit. And it is. Okay, so there is the crusher, and it will nicely crush up ores and whatnot. Why did I... Oh, I needed eight, and I had nine. Never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead, and power goes over here. And I want to do the same thing, like a center block. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12... All right, let's go over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is centered, and now I lost where the six was. I can do it here from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can see it's right underneath the uh, the center girder for the other floor. So that works. And oh, hey, it's got a connected texture holding that on. That's very nice. All right, so let's. Are you obstructing yourself? No, you're not. Okay, perfect. You will work. Oh, I need another connector LV. One of you go there, there, and connect it. Okay, so that should be getting power, and it's getting power, which is good. Let's get uh, some stuff. I want conveyor belts. What happened to my conveyor belts? I don't know why I didn't find it earlier. Okay, I don't need this. I want a precision dropper and another crate. And let's get some ore. Uh, let's, let's grind up iron because iron is always nice to have. Okay, so this is where the stuff will spit out and we'll stick it over to this side. And I'm going to have my crate here. And we're going to have it go here. If hit shift click. Yeah, so now it goes up. Oh, I want to make another one of those dropper trap doors. I don't. Let's make another iron trap door. And belt on top. Perfect. 
So we put that there. So now anything that gets dropped on this gets sucked right into there. Perfect. Not that I want that to get sucked in. Uh, the other thing I want over here is to get stuff into uh, the, the crusher. So anything that falls in, there you go. Crunch, 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 crunch. And it, uh, or doubles, which is which is handy. Uh, so I want some way of getting stuff into it. Uh, that looks like I should be able to conveyor belt onto it. Can I conveyor belt onto, let's put it that direction. And then, no, I don't want you to slope, but I do want you to rotate. There we go. So that should push stuff up and you know, that spot right there is a pretty good spot. So let's go ahead and take the dropper and put you right there. So now I can just shove that in there and it goes spit, 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 and <laughs> starts dumping that. So I can dump anything I want into that and it automatically goes into it, which is nice. And lever, always turn everything off that you can turn off. So we'll put that there. And it's quiet. So it's feeding in. Uh, is there any way of seeing what the inventory is? Uh, can I pick stuff up? I can. Hmm. All right. Oh, when this is running, you will take some serious damage. Let's do that. Uh, I'm immune. <laughs> Okay, so you, you take damage, but I've got um, the, um, the the regeneration going, plus I have full saturation, so my heart's healed really fast. All right, let's go ahead and spit you back in there. You are kind of noisy, but not too bad. I've got a lot of the volumes turned down. And this wire, you can see, just barely looks like it wants to clip that corner, but doesn't. So perfect, that the perfect angle. Yeah. <laughs> It's so close. <laughs> uh, already, so I think if I had it back one more block, it probably wouldn't have connected. All right, now I've got something that will, ooh, and I'm getting the secondary products from that too. So that's very handy as well. Um, I do have my fully upgraded sag mill and it produces gobs of stuff. So that's very handy to have. Uh, but this, it's nice to have this. And I can hook up this and, always be able to turn off a uh, lever uh, I can also hook up uh, this over here so that uh, um, I can input items that I want to make you know some more wire or plates you know I can go ahead and, and do that oh wow that's swapped cool I don't have to pull it out first all right nice all right so that will certainly work I'm gonna go ahead and um plates actually i've got some of those i've got a little bit of that Let's see iron plates and steel plates let's do some more iron iron them yep i definitely need to uh, do more iron all right make me some more plates now will you make what why you no make plates for me oh because you're off never mind <laughs> All right, so that's making plates. Are you making one plate at a time? Yes, you're making one plate at a time, but that's okay. Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to do, and that's over here, I wanted to go ahead and make a blast furnace for making steel the uh, immersive engineering way. And since I already have steel plates and I've got uh, enough of them, I don't have enough of them. I need seven more. Stop. Let's go ahead and spit you in. And, and then, now we'll just wait till those are all done. Anyway, uh, if you take your blast brick, you can set them up just like uh, this Coke oven here, and it will go ahead and, and um, with the the coal coke or lots of uh, coal or 
uh, charcoal, it will make steel out of your iron, but it's a very slow process. And so instead, what I want to do is upgrade this. And we'll put the iron back in. Go. I want to make the advanced blast furnace. And for that, you just add a steel plate on top of that. And brrr, there's those. And I need a hopper. I have an extra hopper. It's like I had mathed something correctly or not. All right. Uh, so I need, and we'll, we'll put it over here. Getting kind of cramped with that, but oh well, can't be helped. Uh, all right, it's getting dark here too. So you can see these are the reinforced blast brick. We put the hopper on top, smack the center, and now we've got the improved blast furnace, which I really think should go outside just because it looks like it's going to be heating up a lot, but it doesn't. Uh, this, you can put in your iron and your, your cold coke, and let's, uh, you can see I've been making a bunch. Are you still processing? It's still processing stuff. All right, let's grab some iron, and we'll start this going. And it says, I'm gonna work pretty slowly on doing that, but there's ways of improving that. And for that, we need the blast furnace preheaters. And these beasties, we need some iron sheet metal and this external heater. Well, this is copper coil blocks. We've been using those for the kinetic dynamos. So I need two of those. And then I need this iron sheet metal. And that's why I've got a lot of those pressed irons. And I think that should be enough to make two of these. One, oh, just out. It's if only I had a place where I could have some, hey, pressed iron plates, that would be cool. I need to dump you in there. Let's make iron plates again. One more should be sufficient. And there's my second one. Now these bad boys can connect here. Why you no connect? Why you no look like you connect? Ah, don't want to break that. I'll f grab that later. Now you look like you're connecting. Point it that direction. There we go. So these guys are connecting in. You can see one, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, gives you an idea of the speed. LV, let's get two of you and two of you. So that might be obstructed. Nope, perfect. And you and you. So now these are uh, powered up and these will heat up the blast furnace and Boom, you can see that's going much faster. It's going up by uh, twos and threes. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're looking for. Good, good, good. All right, now to automate this beastie, let's go ahead and grab another iron. Make one of those and make one of these. Perfect. And then I need another crate. And so I think if I put the, let's put the crate there, like we did the, the last time, that's going that direction. Shift click, go up, put that there and this there. Yep, it's spitting the stuff out and we've got uh, the, the steel going into the chest. Rather, that way I can have multiple thingies going on in here. Uh, slag is an issue. I need to process the slag. Slag comes out here. And uh, we'll do the same setup, which means I need another crate. And I hit the uh, F11 and it windowed my screen. I went, ah, that killed my recording. All right, so we should be here. I need iron again. And that should do me. I should have probably made a third batch of these uh, conveyor belts. They're, they're handy to have. All right, so 
That one comes out, uh, the crate goes here. This goes there. Let's uh, whack them all that thing. And get off me. And then, oh, that's the wrong one. That needs to be the hopper one, the dropping one. There we go. And then this is that guy, and the slag comes out and gets tossed away. Perfect. And then I should be able to drop stuff into there, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the proper method or if I need some hoppery sort of thing going on into here. So if I pitch... Yeah, see, it doesn't look like that's going in. But what if I make another one of... Bearabouts. I need more of these. Let's make two sets because yay. Uh, I need to make one of these dropping. Alright, make one of those, make one of these. What if, let's see, precision, I'm out of those. For that, I need a dropper. I have no droppers. And for that, I need the advanced. All right, make me one of those. All right, so if this works as a dropper, can I drop stuff in that way? I don't know. Let's find out. I want to be able to... The wrong, oh, I broke it because it's all right. So I can't do it that direction because that breaks my power. I wonder, can I? No, I'm not going to be able to put it there, but I can put it here. And here's where I need to get it easier from above. So let's break this one. Aha! So I should be able to. Put that right there, perfect. Let's put this right there, and that conveyor belt right there. And put this back in place. If I point it that direction, it worked. So now, if I put something here, like a coal coke, spits it out, and 4949. All right. Perfect, so I can load it from the top with that. Cool, all right, so that will definitely work. And I have to be careful about what goes in because otherwise the, it'll just be some entity spawning out here on the top and that won't be nearly as good. Alrighty, we can make ourselves some steel. We get the slag back over here. We've got the press working very, very nicely. Uh, I don't see, there's no on off with this. And then we also have the crusher over here, and I need to uh, process a whole bunch of iron because I just ripped through a whole bunch of iron here. But immersive engineering is fun. It is really fun, and I love having cables strung all over the place. It, it, it screams tech when there's cables all over the place. I love that. Anyway, uh, thanks for the many suggestions people have given me on, on uh, improving the, the Botania area and uh, options here for the factory. I do like those uh, floors. I do like them. Uh, it, it, it does scream very industrial, you know, having those platforms. Not going to do it for the floor below because then it, I would see the, the, all the cobblestone down there and I'm hiding the basement. Don't want to do that. There may be wires and cables down there that I want to keep hidden. But the rest of it, I'm enjoying Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, messing with uh, immersive engineering on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. And thanks for watching. Bye.